Hi, I'm Molly Elizabeth, and here's how I live on my 40,000 a year salary. I'm 20 years old, I'm a fashion designer. I have my own clothing label called Belle Devoir, and I'm currently a fashion stylist and creative director. My apartment is a 470 square foot studio space that I share with my boyfriend in downtown Los Angeles. I pay $2,000 a month in rent and $100 in utilities, but that price is split between me and my boyfriend. Besides rent, my most expensive bill would probably balance between food and clothing. I would describe my relationship with money as a lot better. When I first moved to LA, I spent so much money, I would go to like the weekly trading post, which is pretty much a giant thrift store, and spend a lot of money. And also I did a lot of styling things for free because I wanted to build my portfolio. So I went through a lot of money when I first moved to LA, but I'm finally like building my savings. And now that I also have a nine to five to balance my freelance work, I'm you know able to start saving. Something I wish I could pay off today would definitely be my student loans. I hate having debt. As you can tell, like with my credit card, I paid off every month. So if I could pay off the 10,000, that would be like amazing. That's like what I'm working for now. This tattoo is when I got matching with my friend, but we're not friends anymore. And I got it first though, so she matched me. It's kind of a scary process. They pretty much like get this metal thing that like sparks. It's kind of scary and it hurts really bad. It hurts way more than getting a tattoo, but yeah, that's the process. So the lasering is for laser hair removal, just so you like never have to shave again. It's pretty nice. The total lasering process for the tattoos about $600 and then laser hair removal is about I think like 1200 so the total process ends up being about $2,000. Okay, so it's time. Let me show you my apartment. This is the entryway of this wreath right here I got at Target and it's super cute. I love it. Adds another plant vibe in the apartment. And then over here we have the coat rack. So I just like to keep my favorite jackets. This is my favorite coat like ever. Always keep it here on this hook. I mean, you need to wear coats a lot of times in LA just because at night it gets really cool. And I feel like even though it's like warm year round, I feel like during the summer a lot, you still get cool days. Here's the corner of my entryway. I have this chair here that I got from Target. I was eyeing it for a couple months and then purchased it last fall. Super cool because it has fur down here and then they had this pillow on it on the display and I was like that matches so perfectly so I had to get it. And then I have this Vampire Weekend um, framed album artwork that I picked up at a thrift shop. So I love this corner and it's great when like putting your shoes on to have like a chair to sit down in. One of the perks with living with my boyfriend is he's always willing to do the laundry for me while I'm at work. The disadvantages are, like I said, I'm a clean freak, he's not. So sometimes there are messes. I actually have an apartment laundry, which is super nice and I'm so thankful for that. And I do laundry a lot just because we don't have a lot of places to put dirty clothes. So this is utilized daily. I would say on a scale of one to 10, I've put in about seven or eight. I've spent a lot of time trying to pick out the decor and items while also fitting into my budget, but my boyfriend would probably say I put a 12 into it, so. This sign is something that I picked up at a vintage store in Tennessee with my boyfriend right before we got the apartment. So I've never baked ever. No, honestly, probably like once I made cookies. Here is my fridge. It's honestly more full than usual because I usually don't have a lot in here um, since I'm usually eating out or eating on the go. I usually just have like coffee, eggs, and water bottles. I would say pretty much 90% of my meals are eaten out. Sometimes we'll order out and bring it back in though. Up here, I keep actually my blender, but I also keep my toaster up there too. Here's my pantry. This we mainly keep like crackers, pretzels, things like that. We have some marshmallows because I got some hot chocolate because that was in the fall vibe. My current credit score is about 700. On average, I spend about 300 a month on credit card, sometimes up to 500, that's the max, but I make sure to pay it off every month. For cost saving when decorating an apartment, my tip is honestly like go to Target, 
That and Urban Outfitters, they both have a ton of sales all the time and just keep going back until you see the items you like are on sale because they eventually are going to be on sale. Over here is our kitchen table. So I found this on Urban Outfitters and here's the coolest part. These little stools actually come up and sit let's see, inside of the table like that. So you can have like the open floor area and it makes it super easy to clean. So I love this table. And then on here, I have this little sign from Target. Um, I love it, I wanted it for a while. It's cute because it says like, let's go out or let's stay in. Usually keep it on this side. I have this daily planner. I used to use this a lot, but now I just kind of leave it here for looks because it has little plants all over it, which I really love. I also have these sunflowers just because I think they really brighten up the space and add like a little bit of life in like a city apartment. <laughs> and then I have this lime lemon flavored candle. So it's really good for the kitchen, like smells super fresh and bright and airy. And then over here, we have our mahogany teakwood candle. It's my favorite. We probably go through one a week. It's kind of bad. Most of the really large items we had delivered online, but things like our TV, which we got at the Target downtown, we took an Uber home. So over here is my TV wall. Um, I have the TV on this really cool shelf from Urban Outfitters. Up here, I have a macrame that I got from a local boutique. And then underneath in this shelf, I have a bunch of different like cameras, vintage maps, a globe. I have a magnifying glass, a little stopwatch. On my TV, my monthly subscriptions include Hulu, YouTube TV, Netflix. Um, sometimes we end up like buying TV shows on Fandango. So this is my favorite corner of the apartment, mainly because it's where a lot of the plants are. It's super vibey, chill, it's just fun. It's like a little bit of outdoors in the downtown high rise apartment. So that's, I think the reason I love it so much. So right now, I think my biggest financial anxiety would be just savings and making sure I have enough money in my savings. You know, that's the most stressful thing is looking at your savings and being like, if I don't get paid this month, then how am I gonna afford everything? This is my living room, AKA pretty much just the couch. The reason this couch is so cool is all you do is pull this out down here, then you get these two levers and then it's a giant queen bed, so it's super comfy and it literally takes two seconds, which is great. This is our shoe wall. Um, pretty much it's all our favorite pairs of shoes, a lot of our like designer, more expensive favorite pairs. We got these shelves from Ikea um, and a lot of people have used them for shoe shelves. This is my favorite pair, these Balenciagas. They're just like a nice neutral color that kind of can go with everything and I wear them pretty much every day to work. These are Spencer shoes that I have like stolen pretty much. They're the Yeezys. I love them, they're so comfy. And again, they like go with everything. And I just think they're like a good classic sneaker. So here's my closet. Something I wish that my apartment had would be a walk-in closet. That's literally like the only thing that I need for the space. And that's probably one of the things that's going to cause me to have to move over the next year just because I need more storage. Um, this is my section of it. And then this is my boyfriend's from like here over. So he has a lot smaller of a space. When I was 15, I started hand sewing my own collections and got to show them in New York and Los Angeles Fashion Week and a bunch of other different runways. And I was actually invited to go on Project Runway Junior, which is a competition show pretty much set up like Project Runway. And it was pretty intense. It was probably the most intense thing I've ever done, but it definitely prepared me for like the real world and my current work ethic. And I made it all the way to the second to last episode. So I was pretty proud of that. If I had to pick like my top three favorite things, the first thing would be this off-white bag that I just got. It's super small, but like it's kind of nice because you can just like throw it on. This is my favorite hoodie. It's super comfy. It's Balenciaga, but we got it at a secondhand thrift store. My boyfriend actually got it for me for like 75 or 100 bucks. And I honestly just wear it a lot around the house. 
My biggest financial weakness would be clothes. I do have to buy a lot of clothes for my job since I am a stylist. I have to be spending probably multiple purchases a week on clothes, but at the end of the day, a lot of it is also personal shopping and personal clothes I wanna buy, which can definitely be a bad habit, but my new job actually has a discount for like all the major brands. So I do get huge discounts when it comes to shopping. I really love like plaid pants. I love this pair from the Ragged Priest. Um, I got this pair on sale actually. They were like originally 250 and I got them for like 60 bucks. Okay, so this is like a set and it's really basic, but I love it because it's so comfy and cute. So it's a sweatshirt set. It's from Daniel Gizzo. This Harley Davidson sweater that's actually vintage. Um, and I love the coloring of it, first of all. Great for fall, and I cropped it a little bit. So these are probably my favorites of his that I steal probably on a weekly basis. We have this Harley Davidson t-shirt. This is a Metallica long sleeve t-shirt. He got this pair of ski goggles to wear one day. Wore it with this construction vest too. I gave him so much hate for these two pieces when he first got them. It's funny because I actually wore it for a red carpet look last weekend for Beautycon. And that's my closet. Now moving on to the next room. Over here is the desk space. It's super small, but we really needed a desk and we were like, how can we fit one in this apartment? So we found this corner desk on Amazon. The number one thing that I could not live without is probably my laptop desk area workspace. Pretty much like my area to get stuff done. So my boyfriend was on tour with an artist called Young Blood, and he made kind of a promo magazine for the artist. My boyfriend is a concert photographer slash videographer, and he goes on tour with a bunch of different artists. These were all pages from the magazine, so I found these frames on Amazon, and then while he was on tour, I hung these up. My boyfriend definitely had an impact when deciding the design elements of my apartment. I definitely made sure to like keep it like a blue green tone, so not just like girly, but I would also say my design style like isn't super girly, so it really works for both of us. Over here, this is my boyfriend's side of the bed. We have the nightstand over here because he always has like a ton of snacks and stuff like that. And I'm definitely the cleaner one. So we put this on this side because we don't have room for two. Then we have this candle. It's lavender cedar wood. And then we have this basket I got from Target. But I thought it was a really cool like accent for the wall besides just like a normal picture frame. Pretty much everything on this bed is from Target and they match super well, even though like they weren't a set. Then up here, this is this giant painting, which I like to call the focal point of the apartment. And my boyfriend's mom actually painted it. And it was definitely like the starting point for the color scheme in the apartment with the blues. And I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I honestly could not think of something better to go in the space and it was free because it was a gift. So even better. Welcome to my side of the bed. I didn't have a nightstand at first and obviously there's not really room for one. So I was trying to come up with options and I bought this little corner shelf. The only issue is this is like solid concrete. So I was like, okay, I can attach it to this wall, but not this wall. So I finally ended up getting this like gorilla tape that apparently can hold like 30 pounds and it actually works and it holds in place. And I just keep my alarm clock in the back and then this cute little succulent plant that I got from Target. And then I just have my headphones and some extra jewelry thrown on there. This water bottle is from the brand Soma and it actually came with my pitcher water bottle um, that has the refillable like monthly filters you buy. So it's one of the subscription services I have. This is a vintage robe I keep here. It's vintage Christian Dior. So that's my bedroom. Welcome to my bathroom space. So on beauty products every month, I probably spend like zero dollars because I just went to Beautycon. If you guys wanna see, this whole bottom drawer is just full of beauty products. I got all this for free in the talent lounge at Beautycon. This is just lip glosses in here, probably 50 just in there. So I'm stocked up 
on makeup for the year. I try to make beauty products last a while just because it's not like a huge importance to me. The one beauty product that I couldn't live without would probably just be like a concealer or foundation, just something to hide like the redness or red spots. My tips for living in a small space would be just only have what you need. And if you haven't worn like a piece of clothing in a couple months, like get rid of it, like you don't need it. So I'm pretty good at like only having the stuff I use on a daily basis. My biggest tip for people moving to LA and wanting to save money or not spend like crazy, spend your weekends at home getting your stuff done because when I first moved out, here I would go to like shopping and Melrose every weekend and literally like Ubering there, buying a couple clothes, buying lunch, buying a coffee, it adds up to like $500 somehow. And I would just try to like hang out with people and make friends and end up spending so much money. So honestly, I probably am a little less social now that I'm saving money, but at the end of the day, I'm getting stuff I need to get done and that's important to me. All right, Glamour, it was great having you guys over, but sadly, it's time for me to go out. Bye, see you guys later.